While programming and troubleshooting PLCs, it's important to keep the backup of a 7 PLC project. In this video, I will show you how to take that backup. I have opened a 7 PLC project, the thermocouple program from the last videos. And here is the PLC logic, organization block 1, the hardware configuration exist here so i want to take the backup and i want to save that backup on any other disk because if the system is crashed well i may be able to recover or retrieve my plc program it's important while you program and troubleshoot plcs i'll go to the file click on archive the thermocouple program has to be archived click ok now give it a location well, I will store in the desktop, go to the desktop, archive PLC project, open, save here. Depending upon the complexity of the program, it will take some time. I will go to the archive PLC project. Over here, I have a zip format file, 137KB, this is a compressed file. So, I can store it on any disk and I can further retrieve it whenever and wherever I want it. To retrieve it, simply I'll open the semantic manager. Well, I will create a new project my retrieved project file retrieve go to the desktop here is my archived project well it will ask me for the location where I'm going to read well I'm going to store the retrieved project so by default it is the C drive I'll click OK it will retrieve the project for me can already contains the directory thermal well I'm going to rename it well it will ask me to or whether I want to open the retrieve project or not i clicked yes that is i want to open the retrieve project and here it is my plc project that i archived last time now has been retrieved so this is the way of archiving and retrieving the plc project simmons s7 plc project and it is important and vital for taking the backups of your PLC programs because sometimes you need to troubleshoot your PLC and the existing program does not work or it pushes the PLC into the internal error. So in that case, you need to have the backup file so that you retrieve that backup file and re-download that retrieved file to your PLC surely the internal error will go away and your PLC will come to the run mode again. So this is why it's important to keep the backup of S7 PLC project. Hope to see you in the next video.